I will try. It's all good. Some, a lot of times things will like seep in and it'd be even easier. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> all right. Um, Nana Fushigi ga niban me uh, misaki kaidan. So uh, the seven mystery, the second of the seven mysteries uh, is the misaki staircase. Yep. And um, Deito Tara o Ikai. Mm -hmm. Ikai eto Izanai. 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 Izanai sono uh, sono mi o sen ni mo man ni mo hikiki de shimau. So good guess. That's actually hiki saite. Oh, okay. Sa. A little tiny. <laughs> okay. So first off, ikai. Have you ever heard the word sekai? Yes. Uh, the world. Yep, that's the world. So ikai is very similar to that, uh, but it has, it has but it has kai in it from kai like bakemono. So what do you think ikai means then? Uh, like the world of monsters. Exactly, or like the underworld kind of idea. Ikai. E, so to the other world. Um, seito tachi are tazoid, uh, izanaid. Uh, do you know what izanao is? Uh, no. So that means to invite or like to invite. To beckon in. So the, so the students are invited to come to the other world. But, um, sono mi, this is the seito tachi no mi. What is mi? um like their body yep and then we have sen and man these are numbers do you know what numbers right. they are like thousand and, and ten thousand exactly their bodies will be hiki saite hold, hold uh, in. that's so yeah hiki means to pull um mm -hmm. but this actually means um like if you're pulling body parts and they like came apart from the body like uh, okay. teared off teared off that's, that's what it is so like the pulling and like cut hiki side dick yep and next is going to be feverish let's start with just the first half of this um speech bubble all right koko ga sono ikai I believe it says like here uh, mm -hmm. is this world of monsters. Yes, exactly. Um, and now you can read this whole line. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, is that uh, two, like the two quotes next to the he? It's like, is it like Anbi? Yep, Anbi. Cool. Anbi. Wa that's to shite inaku nata se to momi na kono doko kani iru wa zu da yo. This right here is has it. It looks like iruwa. But you cannot have the end of a verb touching um, a particle. That is disgusting, and no Japanese person would ever say such a thing. You'd have to um, nanify it, like with a no, like iru no wa. That could work, but just iru plus particle, no. So because of that, because of that knowledge, you have iru right here. We know this must be ha. So hazu. Um, do you know what hazu means? I feel like it means to like separate, but I'm not 100% sure. So that is a really good guess because um, there is a verb, hazu, hazusu, looks like this guy, that I think does have that mean to separate. But hazu 
but that go, can go ab above da. So this means like hazu is kind of a noun, um, almost something like that. It's 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 like a it, it's go it's good taught under grammar is where it's like taught. Um, but hazu means um, probably. So okay, we're talking probably. about seito desu ne. Seito no minasan. They're probably kono toko kono dokoka ni iru. What does dokoka mean? Uh, like where? So doko means where, but ka really changes the meaning quite a bit, similar to the word some in English. Oh, yes, somewhere. <laughs> so kono dokoka ni means somewhere here, somewhere in this place. This place dokoka ni, these seito tachi are iru. What does iru mean? They exist or are here. Yeah. Yes. So this right here is saying that, oh yeah, all these stu these students are probably here somewhere. However, anpi no wa betsu toshite. You know what anpi means? It comes from um, anshin. I think it's like safety. Yep. And that is betsu. You know what betsu means? Uh, separated. Yes, exactly. So if they're daizobu, that's different than whether or not they are iru of this location. So what students are we talking about? Talking about the students that don't exist? Yes. Uh, the students that went bye-bye. <laughs> Inakunatsu. <laughs> uh, uh, then she goes, Kokoa, this place is. And Archie, what does Yashiro think? Um, Tashkani Betsu Sekai. So, um, that must be another world. Yep. It's a small two, so it's Bet Sekai. Oh, uh, Bet Sekai. Yeah, I was thinking it was a small two, but I wanted to double check because every once in a while there's exceptions to the real because Sekai rather yes. than Sekai. That's how we know. <laughs> um, and let's see, what else does she think? Um, Gakko to ma maru tsukiri sun ikiga chigao. Nice. So this is actually a small too. It doesn't look like a small too, okay. but <laughs> uh, the it, it's like it's actually like very slightly smaller. Like if you squint it, mm -hmm. it's about like that. <laughs> it's like I don't know, like two thirds the size. Okay. Probably. Yeah. But yeah, it's it, I know the word, so that makes it easier. Do you know what marukiri means? Um, definitely. Yeah, um, in this case, it's like completely. Oh, okay. In, in this context. So, gakko wa marukiri funiki ga chigao. Do you know what funiki means? I don't remember this. Mm. So, funiki means atmosphere. And so, the school's atmosphere has completely chigaoed. What does chigao mean? It's completely different. Yep. So she's still at, they went, they're still at school, right? But she took a step mm -hmm. onto a stair and now she's like, wow, even though this is the same school, I didn't like leave locations. It's totally different. Uh, and it looks like the, ball, the doll moves and goes, ah, ninjo ka. She goes, oh, it's, it's it's a doll. Ha 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 ha. Um and feverish. What does Yashiro think? Michi ga senbu uh, sui batsu shiteru. Sui botsu sui bot sui botsu sui botsu. Why does that sound weird? <laughs> yeah, but sui botsu. Hi. Oh, it's sui botsu? Hi, hi. 
Oops, okay. <laughs> but that means to submerge. Yep, uh, so what has been submerged? Uh, I'd say just everything. Mm. So the water is not up here. However, the michi, michi ga zenbu. What is a michi, do you think? Could it be like the path? Yes, so the path has been completely submerged. However, uh, <laughs> the world, the sky has not been completely submerged. Okay. Don't worry, these guys are daijoubu. Then it says <laughs> dōkai, which means barrier. Um, and the next box is going to be for Archie. Um, shikan to hikan futatsu no kishibe o tsunagu umi. Nice. So let's start with umi. Uh, umi means uh, sea or ocean. Yep. So this is the ocean of this. This is all describing umi. Um. Shikan to hikan. It's like kono yo and ano yo. Like this world and that world? Yep. Okay. Um, both. Um, last word. You know what's an agu? Um. So, Tsunaga like, means to, to connect. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, Kishibe is shores. So, oh, this is okay. the sea that connects the two shores between this world and that world. That is like this, the yeah, dead or? Soul guy, this burial, <laughs> barrier world. Mm. And she pokes the water and she's like, ah! Um, and Archie, I'd like you to do that one. Yeah. Um, so, so wa kai tachi yep. no sumu sekai. Yep, sumu. So it's the same as sumu with a different kanji, but the difference is who's doing the sumuing. Sumu. This is the guy. Sumu. Um, like. Living? Yep. Like your house. Where do you dwell? Hmm. So this is where uh like um like kai, so monsters mm -hmm. and ghosts. Yeah. Um, the world where they live. Exactly. And feverish? What's this part? Uroko ga. You know what a uroko was? Oh, I don't hope oh, scales. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Um, so I want this first half right here to go to Archie. Okay. Um, ko koko de wa uh, korobana korobana iyo ni shinakya. Yep. Um, you know what, Korobu? No, I'm not sure. So, Korobu means like to fall, and it's a very like tumbly kind of fall. So, like, Ochiru is very like here, fall straight down. Boring. Mm -hmm. Korobu is more like guru 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 guru. Uh, could just be like one guru guru. So Korobu is more natural here, because she's she's not the floor is not falling underneath her, right? Mm. No trap door here. So it'd be Korobu. So she's like tripping basically. Okay. So we have Koroba yoni shinakya. So it doesn't look like we're falling. That's a good guess. But um, shinakya means I must. Um, and mm -hmm. then um, banayoni means like um, I must not fall down. I must not fall. I must do anything in my power 
to not for it not to come to be that I would fall. Uh, where should he not fall? Into the um, the world. Mm, the other world. That's a good guess. But actually, the kokodewa is actually referring to the suibotsumichi. Oh, the ocean? Or yeah. The, wa the water? True, the water. But yeah, yeah. this whole, all this water, that'd be bad. As you can see, he mm -hmm. pokes the water and her urokos start sprouting once gotcha. again. So that's why she's like, ooh, I, I can't, I should not trip here. And the reason why she cannot trip, feverish, let me know. Let's read that part for you. Sakanani uh, not chow. Could it be like, I'll turn into a fish? It is exactly what that says. So there's a little bit of slurring going on here. But yeah, chow is the same as chimao. Chimao, which is, a, oh no, I'll, I'll turn into a fish. And the not do is the is the to become, which became not te, which the te and the she right here from Shimao. These two right here got married and became a chi. Mm. Ta. And the, the, the M became ya, like a small ya. So it became chao rather than Shimao. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then she goes over and thinks, ashizake nara Safe kana, which is I guess it'll be safe if just my feet get wet. Ha 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 Oi Hanako. Hey Hanako. Um first half feverish. Uh Narimo i nezo. Yes, so this is the same as inai. He just has a slight uh accent. So he goes ine rather than inai zo. He's very masculine. Okay. Is it essentially asking, like, doesn't he exist? Or... So, nani mo is not a question. Uh, nani mo is very similar to nani ka. But nani ka, what does nani ka mean? Uh, something. Yep, something. So, nani mo means um, no thing. What is that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I, I think it's n nothing. Yeah, nani mo, nothing. That's, that's, that's the word. No thing. Why does, why does that sound like not like an English word? <laughs> Can we say nothing rather than no thing? No thing, nothing. Thank you, schwa. Uh, nothing. Uh, so nothing mo inai. Nani mo inai. So nothing is here, zo, you know? There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Um, and Archie, second half. Um, hiki sakare hiki sakare njana katta no kayo. Hmm. So, what does hiki sakare do mean? So, like, so, don't be pulled in. Hmm. Oh. So, last time you guessed pulled, but this is a more, yeah. this is a tearing off. Um, and it's like to be teared up. Um, and in context, oh, okay. to thousands and ten thousand pieces. Um, and, then, and then the njanakata no kayo, which is like, um, shouldn't something come to tear us into pieces? Or like, shouldn't we have been torn into pieces already? Shouldn't, shouldn't we have been torn up into pieces? Ikisa kareru njanakata kayo. Like nothing's here. Shouldn't we have been torn up into pieces? Um, and feverish do this half. sugu niwa yaru naiyo. Yes, it's the same as shinai, yaranai. They're the same word, but one's just more friendly. Yaranai is very friendly. Sugu mm -hmm. uh, I think like sugu is like immediately. Yes. So uh, kono and sugu together has the meaning of so soon. Mm -hmm. How uh, about yanai, which is shinai? Yeah, I've forgotten the meaning of shinai. <laughs> mm, do you know sudu? 
from Simas. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I'd be guessing. Uh, so, Suda means yeah. to do, uh, and Sinai means to not do. So, Yaranai means will not do. Uh, so, Konasugu ni Yaranai yo means they wouldn't do that this so soon. They wouldn't do that so this soon. Like, that's too soon for them. And the thing they're not doing is hikisakareru. What does hikisakareru mean, feverish? Uh, I believe to like pull apart or tear up. Yeah, so tear up into teeny tiny pieces. And arty, the second half of this? Um, so, so, ni oshimai ja tsumanai daro. Hi. So, what does oshimai mean? Um, close. Yeah, well, the the ending of something. Oshimai. Oh. Owaru koto. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about tsumanai? From tsumaranai. Uh, to be to be bored. Exactly. Oh. So so ni oshimai ja tsumanai daro. So if like tore us apart soon, that's boring, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, to end so soon would be so boring. So, of course, she's not going to tear you up into little pieces. She's going to make it fun. Choto zutsu. Choto zutsu. Sorry, that's not my screen. Kezute ga daso shon tanoshin dan. So, she's saying just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, if you um doing this, is is more fun. Uh, no. Uh, I'm like I have no memory what that meant. Oh, to shave, like to whittle down something. So if you if we're whittled down little by little, that is much more fun. Shumi uh, na, which is like you are you you're you're kind of demented uh like if you're directly translating it might be like oh you have a bad hobby but demented is more accurate <laughs> uh sorry yeah that's that's kind of true um and archie let's do this uh ore tachi wa nana fushigi gakuen no kai o um Tabanere nanatsu kashira toshite. Um, Gashira, um, I think has the same kanji as atama. Yep, if that might help you. It's kind of, we use this the same in English sometimes, mm -hmm. but normally we might say the snake if we were using atama. <laughs> <laughs> the head of the snake. Uh, talking about a or a evil organization. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I think it's just like I think, right? Or mm, that's how that, I've understood it before, but I could I be think. wrong. Uh, but let's let's break it up into um, okay, okay. so we're saying ore tatsuwa, which is mm. us, right? Us. We yep. are um the nana the mysteries of the school. Yep. Um, and so this is kind of like there's like a comma here or something like that. Like there's kind of like a breakup because this is a manga and they <laughs> like to make sentences confusing. Um, <laughs> anyway, these these people, these guys, they tabaneru. You know what tabaneru means? Um, that uh, means to govern. Yeah, to govern mm -hmm. the school's yokai desu ne. So mm -hmm. they are the nanatsu gashira, which is the head of the seven, the seven heads that okay. that um govern. So by heads, they mean like bosses, kind Boss. of. Okay, yeah. Like, you ever heard, like, the head of the snake if you're talking about, like, a evil organization? I feel like that yep, exists. Yep. Uh, so that's, that's, like, the same kind of gashira. They're the seven heads that govern the school's ghosts. That's what the seven deadly uh, Um Do you know what toshite is doing? 
Um, is so Toshte kind of is used when you're talking about a job someone has. Um, it says like this is my role, Toshte. Um, it, it's a it's very common. This is like a very common mm -hmm. word. Uh, so like it could be like I am living in the role of someone's pet cat, and you could use Toshte, Neko Toshte. Cut. <laughs> uh, I just I read a book where uh, that's like one of the sentences because he's talking about his pet yokai. And he's like, oh yeah, my yokai lives in the role as our pet cat. It's not actually a pet cat, but he does. Um, this can use for actual jobs as well, but it just means that you're living in the role as this. This could be your actual job, or it could be a fake. Job, but it doesn't matter. Hi. Um, feverish. Here you go. Yes. Uh, dakara. Ore tachi wa hito wo odo kasu. Hi. Oh, oh, wait, wait, do not. There's, there's more to the sentence over here. Um, so we'll put that on pause for you. We'll go back there in a second, feverish. But let's first get our context from Archie. Yori o kuno hito. That's, that's like hard to translate without the context. So yori is over here at the front of the sentence. So we can kind of ignore this and do oku no hito no hoga. So what does oku no hito no hoga mean? So like many people. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the no hoga part though? Uh, sorry, which one? Or the, so the sentence starts with yori. And for mm -hmm. English, we wouldn't really use yori. Instead, we'd use no hoga, which would be oku no oh, hito no okay. I just made the sentence more American and less Japanesey. So in Japanese, okay. they like the yori. But if you did, the, in, if you translate this in English with the yori, it would sound extremely not English. It would sound like you translated something. So I, I was trying to be helpful. But oh, okay, well, got it, got it. Sorry. <laughs> so, so like better, better than many. Mm, that's a good. That's that's that. It's like it's it's like more more most people. Mm -hmm. It's like most people compared to others. Uh, they um uh shirarete inakunacha naranai which they wouldn't come to know. Yeah, it's 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 the the context is um so uh ghosts they um you need to remember ghosts in order for them to be like daizobu. Mm -hmm. uh, so for most people, they um, they they like come to not know. <laughs> I'm like ah, she she got it because to inaka not cha not a night. It's just like they they come to like not be aware of hmm. ghosts. <laughs> they they don't know about ghosts. So because of that, because people aren't like super aware of ghosts and feverish. So yes. we got Should I read it again? Sure. Cool. Uh Dakara Ore Tachi wa Hito wo Odo Kasu. I know Odo Kasu is to threaten. Um Yep. So because of that, we threaten people because most people don't know about yokai. Um, because if you, uh, Archie, read this uh, one long sentence. Tanoshi koto yasashi mono yori iana koto kowai mono no. It's like interesting because this very like directly goes into this. So this whole mm. thing is one long ass sentence. 
that they put one here, one there, and one down here, but it's like all one sentence. So it's all like related to each other, but it sounds just, it's, it's like, I, this is what I hate about manga, is that they split things up like this. So this is where the, the, the memorability, right, has to do with tanashi koto yasashi mo yori iya na koto kuai mono no hou ga, they, they are to be remembered, right? Right. So just the scary things are more memorable than the fun and kind ones. Exactly. But yeah, the, the way this is organized is very like, <laughs> ah, because <laughs> it does, it goes down like that. That's how mm. you would. Um, and this is good for feverish. Zuto mm -hmm. Kioko Kiokuni Noko no Daru uh, Daro Nokoru. You know what Nokoru means? <laughs> to be left behind. <laughs> left behind. Nokoru. This is a extremely this this verb is used so much in Japanese, which I think is like kind of funny because like I feel like it's not used that often in English, but like it is used a lot. <laughs> no quote. Uh, so I I don't know why it's used so much. I just know like I've always seen it in every book I've read where like other words like kyoku for example. You think kyoku would pop up more than no koru, but Nokoru definitely pops up way more than Kyoku, but what does Kyoku mean? Kyoku. It has to do with um, your atama and your omo, omo koto. Oh, uh, memories. <laughs> yep. So it's left in your memories. Um, zuto. Mm -hmm. Uh, not too sure what Zuto is. <laughs> uh, zuto can mean like forever. Uh, zuto. zuto. I see. So your memories are forever left behind. Yep. I was like going to grab the example from the dictionary, see if there's a better definition. But yeah, forever. How about that all? Do you know what that means? Uh, oh, uh, no, I'm not sure. Mm. So the daro means probably, but, or wouldn't it, um, I guess. So uh, wouldn't it be left in your memories forever? Or wouldn't it, is how I would probably translate it in English. But it, it means like probably, but just wouldn't it sounds better, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, and Archie, want to go see that? Uh Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. But this is, um, so it, it, it's a really good guess that this is one word. Um, but what's going on is, is that toa ye is like kind of a word, but it's kind of not a word. It's kind of like oh, and then wa and then ye, like no, toa ye. Uh, and this has the meaning of like anyway, but it's like the particles. So I said that. Uh, and then he's making that oh, like yeah. subject. Okay. So, nah. So even though I said that, um, so even though I said it would live in your life, your lives forever, that that's not important. Yeah. <laughs> Toa, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that that would be translated as like anyway. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, guessing it was ha, you'd think, but it's not actually a noun. It's it's gotcha. Toa, yeah. Um. Nice. Do you know what sugiru does to word? Like, like makes it um, a lot or like very. Yeah. How about yaru from here? We saw earlier. Suru. Um, to do. <laughs> yep. So yagi suri sugita is to do, go too far, right? So. Mm. Oh. So so. This time? Yep. This time, Niban wa went too far. Oh, this, 
this time the second place one went too far yeah um it's, it's like it's second place as in like the second um misaki because she her, her position so hanako is number seven He's right so the second one i guess yeah. second mystery weird you know, the second mystery. I don't know. I hear the second one, so it's like it sounds wrong. I don't okay. it's like it's not wrong, but like in English, I like it makes me think like um, like the second problem has popped up. Like the yeah. <laughs> but probably they probably wrote the second one here in the English translation. I'm sure. Uh, maybe they wrote Misaki. This time Misaki went too far. <laughs> mm. Who knows? Um, feverish. Want to get some else? Hi. Um... Konda Kotowa uh, Sasato. Uh, and then Yame Sasan, uh, Sasenaito. Yep. What is Konda Koto? What does that mean? I believe it means like like this. Or <laughs> yep. This, this type of thing. Konda Koto. Uh, it makes it very like uh, koto is very underlined. Kona koto. This thing we should sasato. So this is, means immediately or as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a sound effect of sasa. And to is what you put after sound effects when they're modifying a verb. So sasato. Um, so the thing they want to sasa, like do it so fast it makes a sasa sound, um, is yameru. What does yameru mean? Uh, to quit. Yes. So, yame sase nai to means we have no choice to but to uh, um, no. make Misaki to quit this immediately, or that's the toy here, or something bad might happen, is kind of what that means. So, like, we must do this immediately. So, that's okay. all. Because you know, she yaidi sugita. She's going too far. Yeah, it'd be bad if she kept doing that. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Um, Denwa, it's the phone. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Ah, senpai. She she is senpai. Um, moshi moshi. Hello. Uh, no, Anata wa, who, who are you? Atashi Misaki. I am Misaki. Very feminine. Um, and Misaki te, which is like Misaki in quotation marks. Um, or she said Misaki. Uh, in English, we probably just wrote Misaki. Because To is just saying this is a quote of something. Um, but feverish, what do they think right here? Nana Fushigi Kara no uh, Denwa. Yep. So, uh, is this the seventh mystery calling? Yes. Nice. Or a phone call from the seven, uh, seventh mystery. Um, and Archie, funny guy, Sumas. He's a Bachi. Kono. Kizabashi. Yep. Kizabashi. Kizabashi ueni aru de te no no So this is like watashi wa or atashi wa Seito ni mo, uh, seito ni mono o oshiete ita. There's a break right there. Okay. Um. What does seito ni mean? Seito ni oshiete ita. Start with that. Um. Something I've been doing. Seito ni osite ita. Like to teach? Yeah, to teach students. Um, and the thing she's 
Mono, which is stuff. I taught stuff to students. Um, so where, where did where did she teach the students? Um. What is kizabashi? So kizabashi um means stairs. It has the oh. same currency as um kaidan no dan, I think, or kaidan no kai. Okay. So, um, on top of the stairs. Mhm. Mm there existed a the school. Yeah. She taught students. Yep. So yeah, she's like, I taught the students above the stairs of the school building or something like that. This is her, woo, look how happy the students are. They're, they're young, stays in, do, do, do. The guy. Um, ja, feverish, gambaro. Uh, demo kokore mi wo sakarete uh, koro sareta. So this is our first time seeing sakarete, but we did see it in the compound word that was hiki sakarete. Mm -hmm. I don't... Oh, yes, I, I believe that means to tear up. Yes, but what if we don't have the tear, the, the grabbing part? What, what would be left off? Oh, I suppose okay. it would mean just like breaking. Yes, so it kind of has like a chopped up into pieces kind of meaning. So her body was all chopped up and um, she was korosareta. I guess she died. <laughs> yep, she was killed. Where was she killed? Uh, on the stairs. <laughs> yep, so this man. Right above the stairs in this nice little area. Um, and Archie, on you guys see um, you can ignore Chodo if that's confusing. Okay. Um, uh, standing in this place? Yep. So the Chodo means like exactly in this context. So exactly wow. where you are standing, right? Mm -hmm. That was where she was. Korosaritad. So she was murdered, chopped up into teeny tiny pieces, exactly where she's standing right now, holding the phone. Ne, anata, hey you, um, feverish. Kashi no karara, saga shi teku dasaina. Okay, so karada means, like, means body, I think. Yep, it does. <laughs> How about atasi? Do you know what that means? Oh, oh I feel like I should know this. Uh... You are male, so it's not as important for you to know it. It's the feminine version of boku. Okay, so it probably means I, her, yes. my. Yep, because it goes ore, boku, watashi, atasi. Uh, I don't know. I think there's like another one. But yeah, Atasi is very feminine. You are not allowed to use this feverish. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure to only use Boku. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, but yes, I think it's like my body. Uh, she got. I got it. I got it. No, I got it. My bad. Uh, I guess too fine. <laughs> yep, too fine. How about kudasai? Have you heard that before? 
Yes, that means, I guess, like, please. Yep. <laughs> uh, the na here makes it that is not um, an actual question. Atashi no karada sagashite kudasai na, which is, won't you find my body? So it's like how in English, if you do something like that, it's, it's insinuating, do it. Won't you find my body for me? Um, kind of creepy. <laughs> um, and Archie, let me go So, what do you think that means? Um, like this? Yeah. And um, I can't. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. OK. Can't do anything. Um, who can't do anything? It's not actually mentioned. But it could be her, or it could be you, like, if you can't do anything or something. Uh, anyway, mm. she goes. Ma mate, Aoi wa. Wait, wait. How about my friend Aoi? Um, but the voice just continues with this. So all this right here is gonna go to feverish. Okay. Uh, Mazu wa ude. Uh, migi no ude. Kono tede atashi. Nyoku. Choku. Choku wo tsukate jiwo kakuno. Hi. So you can ignore the no here. Okay. Is that like just like the feminine way of saying stuff? Yes and no. Um, uh, wa up here is totally feminine. Uh, no can be used by men sometimes. Um, it's 100% feminine if this was a question. Uh, this is a statement, so it's a little bit feminine, but men can use this. It, it's just, it's making this into a statement, if that makes any sense. This, this uh, statement. Uh, mazu. You know what that means? Uh, first of all? Yep. First of all, ude. Migi no ude. What does that mean? Oh, I, I see Ude a lot, which is interesting. Um, yep, it is arm. So like first of all, is the right arm. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, Miki Ude, right arm, and then mm -hmm. I see hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this hand. Atashi choko wo tsukatte moji wo kaku. Eto, wo D. D wo kaku. Uh, it's like choku, like actual, like the English choke, or? Yep, it is the English chalk. It's made out of the kind for white, and I think like board. So, um, I, I, I think maybe if they had a different word for chalk, it might have fallen out of use. Um, but they kept the kanji anyway. Interesting. Chalk. Yeah, the first, the, the kanji, they just want to be fancy. Um, so wait, what, what, what's, what is the choko tsukate jiyo kakuno? What does that mean? I think it means that like, um, this hand used the chalk to write a character. So that is a really, huh. So for me, this this reads as I have written uh, on the my hand with chalk a a, a character. Um, that, that, that's how I read this because the atasi right here is letting you know like atasi because otherwise why is there an atasi right here <laughs> if it's not I did this. 
um kaku can mean something that's like habitual like it happened in the past and it's currently happening in the future so she had used this chalk but now there's a letter written on the hand uh and especially with the no statement um if she was telling them to do it you wouldn't really use kaku you'd use like kakinasai or something like you'd use or kakimasho like let's let's write on it mm -hmm. um, or perhaps you could say speech tense there, there will be a there will be a character written on it in chalk that i have written on there hi um um archie when you guys must Uh, isoi de ne, jiki ni jugyo ga hajimaru wa, hajimaru wa. Yep, what's jugyo? Jugyo is class. It is class, so, how about, so, isoi de ne? um quickly yep yep be fast um jiki means like uh so short so jiki can mean shortly um mm -hmm. i think that would be more accurate in this context it can mean like immediately as well but it's more like very soon Start class soon. Yeah. So no. So isoide means you should hurry. Class is starting soon, you know. So uh, this is insinuating there's a time limit for them mm -hmm. to find the stuff. They have to find the stuff before class starts. That'd be two, 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 two. Uh, kiritatta. It cut off. We've lost the signal, and that is where we'll be stopping. Um...